Okay, guys, so the new SBC David Alaba is out. Guys, uh, I don't have the facilities to be able to get it on two different accounts. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the review for the most sought after player, right? So I always look at Footbin. I try to see who the top player is, and it seems to be this version of the card. Now, I guess the reason why this version is so high is because if you take a look at the stat difference, it's in physicality. Why would you why would you get the other version? For, but you're still going to give him a shadow, though. No, what's what's the anchor chemistry style marksman? Oh, because of the lengthy. Mm. I see. And then the other one gives him a what? What's the difference? A little bit extra defending. What is this one? Is this the same thing? Oh, you got to give him an architect? <laughs> yeah, right, EA. Yeah, right. As if people will choose this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, base card size for defense being higher while being able to boost physical and passing. I'm not against that. Okay. I'm not against that. But I think most people will choose this one. Okay. So I got to make sure I choose that one. All right. So Mr. Mr. White shirt over here. Not the not the purple shirt one, right? So I just hey, I just gotta make sure. I just gotta make sure. So purple shirt's a no go. White shirt is a yes go. <laughs> a yes go. Um, okay, okay. White shirt. Okay, cool. Uh, so just for the people that are on the old gen version of the game, you're just gonna give them a shadow chemistry cell for the most part, right? Um, if the if you're playing on the new gen, the reason why the anchor makes the most sense is because. His pace is very equal for both of them while boosting physical and defense. So to be fair, he does look like a very good center back card. Um, doesn't have shooting capabilities. So it's not like a situation where it's like, hey, I'll play him at left mid or something, right? It is mostly going to be uh, a center back for the most part, right? It could be nice in a three center back formation too. Wouldn't be necessarily horrible to work with. But guys, in the team with the anchor chemistry style, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'11", medium, medium work rates, left footed, three star skills with a four star weak foot. It's always a huge plus to have the weak foot on the card. So definitely very nice to have that. Uh, In-game player trace, he has a long shot taker. Hey, maybe you can pop in a nice little uh, outside foot shot with him because I don't know if that like goes hand in hand with the with the, the outside foot because he doesn't have the actual outside foot shot trait, but maybe because it's a long shot, it would be kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, In-game attributes, we're not going to take any shots of them. It's a defensive review. Um, In-game attributes, this card on an anchor chemistry style will be giving him 85 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, which in this game is perfectly fine. Um, with him being medium, medium work rated, you could potentially use this card as one of your two CDMs. That wouldn't be horrible to work with, right? Um, especially for a card that you're maybe going to keep on stay back or can push forward because his dribbling is in a pretty decent area. It is a card that is an average body type while being five foot eleven. So do I mainly see him being used in the center back position? Uh, yes, but you know, uh, passing on the card is incredible, right? So passing and dribbling very high on this card. That's actually a really huge plus because in this game, having those two being as high as possible is really, really nice. Uh, anchor chemistry style on this card is going to be putting his uh, defensive capabilities to be in a very good area, right? Mid 90s area for all of the important stats while giving him a really good physical boost to be in the 90s area as well. So um, yeah, Alaba definitely looks like a very interesting card. This is a team that we're going to be using him in. It's a defender review, so results doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of uh, testing out what he's like in certain uh, scenarios, right? So I will play him at the or in the left center back position, and I'll just put a random striker up there as well. So yeah, let's see what he's like, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Dang, that's a nice team. Hey, what I will say so far is that he has like, there's like almost no restriction on his movement to go left and right. Yeah, that's what I want to do over commit for Ron there. Ooh! Okay, okay, not bad. Look at him switch.
Aw, oh, dude, I gotta pull way more power for him. Oh, dude, he doesn't slide that much, eh? Yeah, his, yo, his movement is nice. I'm not gonna say it's not. I'm not gonna say it's not, guys. Look, we're on Switch again. Very good. Yep. Dude, in that situation, what I'm doing is... So, you obviously have to control your stops, right? But I just want to see how fast he kind of, like, stops from the overcommitments. That's from, like, me holding the, uh, the dash button too much. And honestly, his turns are really good because in that situation there, you have to kind of, like, really control your, um, your L trigger and your R trigger to kind of slow down the pace a little bit, you know? But I just want to see how fast he would go back. You know how when I did the Godfrey review, if you guys uh, didn't see that one, when he overcommits, like, he kind of, like, overcommits, overcommits? Like, this car doesn't really do that as much. Yeah, it's just, it's really fast transition. Like, that's what I'm talking about, right? So that's the situation where when you're defending and you're just holding the jockey system, um, you want to be able to do it, like, very quickly, like he is right now. Yeah, overcommit. See the AI now. Look at the AI. Tracking him the entire time gets the ball. Ooh. A little weak foot pass as well. All right, AI out of the position. I'm not doing anything. Goes back really quickly, man. Oh, dude, the weak foot. I'm telling you guys. I always tell you guys in my defensive reviews, eh? When you have the weak foot on the cards, it's really nice. Overcommit. There we go. Control that. Nice. I just like that he feels like a very agile center back in that area, you know? That's the run I want you to make. There you go. Guys, he's like, he's kind of saucy. I'm not going to lie to you guys, bro. Like, I was like, oh, you know, the price is up there. You know, it is. It is up there. But I mean, in game, he's performing, man. I'll tell you that much. And just for the lulls, you know, just for the lulls. Yo, I could take it with Alaba. Does he have good penalties? Oh, he does. 22? It's not bad. I'm going to try top left. I've never gone top left for penalties. I'm going to go top left. See what happens. Oh, I like this penalty system. I like it. It's really nice. Veron showing you why he's a monster, too. You, you, I listen, he's on my Road to Glory account. Trust me, I know he's a beast. Dude, his... Guys, I, look, just watch my controller, okay? Just the L trigger, it feels fast, bro. Like, to transition left and right with him, it feels good, man. Nice pass off. Yo, I'm, like, right there, what I was testing is his burst of acceleration when I slow down. Slow down, burst, slow down, burst. Very agile with him. Do you see how responsive it is? It's so nice, man. I want to see his tracking without me doing anything. I mean, listen, in that area, you do got to control it. If you see that run being made, you got to block out that specific area. But he does stop to kind of be around there. But manually, you do got to do something there. That's what I want. Oh, the blocks. E even Varan, the beast, eh? Oh, a little crazy deflection right there. A crazy transition speed there with uh, Alaba. Yep, just sell trigger. Use the body a little bit there. 
I did well enough there. Overcommit. Very explosive on the turn. Good stuff. Nice block. Nice. He like explodes into it. You see that? Like when I'm manually controlling him. Nicely done. Little fake shot. Let's do a weak foot pass here. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna go though, downwards here. Force a run. Pass it up. Let him commit a little bit, you know? Let him commit a little bit. Okay, so out of position here. Nothing being done. Look at look at Valverde on that lengthy, bro. <laughs> that card is so good. Let's go, Alba. Alright. A little bit of a judgment here. There we go. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Alaba SPC. So, guys, uh, I agree with the community in regards to this card making the most sense because the fact that you can make him a lengthy player on an anchor chemistry style is great. But even if you're on the old gen version of the game and you give him a shadow chemistry style, he's still going to be in a very, very good area because physical stats is still really up there while working with good defensive stats as well as really good pace, right? Because that's the difference between the two for the most part. But, guys, the anchor chemistry style for next gen, uh, again, shadow, anchor, depending on where you are. Uh, this card is really solid. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the SBC price, it's up there. I'm not going to say it's not up there, okay? 313k is up there. But if you choose to unlock this card in game, he's really solid, okay? Like, he's really, really good. This is like, uh, you know, back in the day, we used to call them the gameplay compensators, gameplay compensator okay the only thing that you notice that is a difference between someone like him and someone like uh for you know someone like Varan, for instance right is you know the fact that he's six foot three and he has that unique body type he has this Varan has like, these crazy the craziest animations right but he has this like physical feel to him that is really nice to have right there and there's a lot of like physical engagements that are fantastic to use but Guys, look at this card on a shadow, right? 8592. This card is still 8585. But here's the thing it's always a combination of multiple stats that make a card way better in game. What's the, the, the huge thing here? It's the dribbling stats, okay? The off the ball movement, the on the ball movement, the four star weak foot with fantastic passing capabilities. All, he's good at all three of the things in uh, pace, defending, and physicality. Like, you just can't go wrong with what he offers in game. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you this right now. He's one of the better center backs I've used this year. He's expensive, and EA knows what they're doing by making him expensive, okay? But it is a good card, all right? If you have Valverde, you guys know Valverde is crazy meta this year, right? You guys know from the Player of the Month review, I mentioned to you guys how Valverde is... He just has that, like... This year, he has that, like, nice little FIFA thing to him, you know? He's going to be the new Nkunku this year. But, uh, well, Valverde from the rare gold card, from that all the way to the other cards, have been fantastic. Um, guys, he's really good, okay? He's really, really good. Um, if we take a look at the comparison, between all of the center backs, unless you're, like, looking at the top-tier center backs, it's going to be hard to compare because I haven't tried out these cards. Obviously, it's still, like, fresh in the game, right? But from what I have used so far from doing all these reviews with all these center backs and all this kind of stuff... He is one of the better ones I've used, to be honest with you, okay? Um, if we take a look at the Liga Santander, guys, the Real Madrid link alone is a big deal, right? If you have Rudiger, Rudiger who's give, giving you a Real Madrid, there's so much there's so much crazy stuff you, that you could do with Real Madrid. There's so much crazy stuff, right? Rudiger is already base lengthy on a shadow, right? With good physical, this card's a beast, all right? And then... <laughs> And then you have one of the best goalkeepers in the game in Courtois. Probably the best. Could be the best, right? He's amazing uh, in Courtois. And <laughs> he went up in price too because I bought him at 41k and now he's 50k. But you have one of the best goalkeepers in Courtois that gives you the links. So you have Rudiger, Courtois, Valverde. Never tried Vinicius Jr. So I don't know about him. But 
Look how many crazy links by itself that you already have to work with. Even the Inform Modric card is pretty good if you use them in that specific way. So, listen, if you don't mind the price range of the card and you want to guarantee that he's going to be really sick in game, he's going to be really sick in game. That's what I can tell you guys. Very agile, gameplay compensator. This is the type of player that I would have in my team. Like, whatever the gameplay feels like, it's a compensator card, which is very helpful. The only thing that is slightly different between this card and the other good center backs is sometimes in physical presence, right? It's that extra height and physical that definitely helps with a card like Varon, right? The extra height's very, very helpful, but he's still a beast. Very, very good card to use. Medium, medium work rates, couldn't care less about it, to be honest with you. He was very... Medium, when it's high medium to medium high, like when it's those two center backs, the balance is a little bit weird. And I've, I noticed that with PK. PK is nice, but that balance is really strange, right? A medium, medium next to a medium high. It's good. It's a good balance. I like it. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.